Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe. It's good to be here with you today as we continue. Uh, what I've been doing with you for some time is going through uh, the book of Psalms, one of the largest books in the Bible. Um, today's psalm from Psalm 37 really resonates with, I think, how, how things have gone in the world in the last several weeks and last month. You know, we, we hate to see it, but uh, there's certainly been a lot of violence that have made our, our, our media outlets, and whether it be online or, or in the news media, and just it seems like violence is winning. You know, for months we've been following our brothers and sisters in Christ uh, through uh, different perspectives of what's going on in the Ukraine, and, and we know that violence isn't limited to things in Eastern Europe, but it's it's all around, and it feels like maybe perhaps that's all we ever see and all we ever know. You know, I heard a, a pastor's devotion recently, uh, another pastor's devotion, where he reflected on uh, our, our, our world has been in bloody conflict since uh, Cain and Abel, and that first murder in the, in the scriptures was between two brothers. And, you know, that's where we're at today. You know, it's so easy to be consumed by the violence that's all around us. That evil overcomes good. And so it's like, what do we do with this? What do we do as people of God who have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus? What do we do in a world that's violent and chaotic? Well, let's turn to Psalm 37, where we're really going to see elements of Proverbs and where I think a good book to reflect on this topic is through the book of Romans. But here is what Psalm 37 begins. Fret not yourself because of evildoers. Be not envious of wrongdoers. Did you hear it? Fret not. In other words, do not be consumed or as what Paul would say, do not be conformed by what's going on in the world. Don't let it overcome you or consume you because of the evil that's around us. Here's verse 2. For they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb. You know, if you go in my backyard or my front yard right now, I, I haven't been watering all that much and it's been rather dry. And uh, there's only uh, a few patches of green out there, and most of it is becoming brown and dry. And really, that's the illustration that uh, the, the psalmist gives us, that the evil in the world is going to dry up. This is what verse 3 says. Trust in the Lord. Sometimes that's easier said than done. You know, when everything on the news is violent, chaotic, destructful, sinful, immoral, it's so hard to not let it consume us. But verse 3 challenges us, just like Proverbs 3, 3 through 5, trust in the Lord. And this is what, what we should do next. And do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. You know, the best thing that we can do is to give compassion, love, and mercy to those around us. But that comes second after trusting in the Lord. Then it says this, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. You know, we might be confused by that verse or or challenged by that verse, you know, trust in the Lord, and then verse 4, delight yourself, and he will give you the desires of your heart? What is it saying? Well, I think we have to decipher the desires of the flesh and desires of the heart. The desires of the flesh are always going to lead us to death, sin, and destruction. But the desires of, of our heart, those that, uh, of us that have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus, we are free in the gospel of Christ, that we've been claimed in the waters of baptism. We now have the blessing to pursue the desires of the heart, the things that are God-pleasing with the Holy Spirit's guidance 
and help. Verse 5 says, commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. And I was thinking about that uh, over the weekend. Commit to the Lord. How committed am I to the Lord? Well, I'd like to say I am completely committed to the Lord. But do an inventory of our deeds and our actions. Does what I do to those around me reflect who I am, redeemed in Christ and claimed in baptism as a child of God? He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. So if you're bothered by what's going on in the world around us, first of all, you have to do your soul something. Turn off the news. Get away from it. Turn off social media. Take a step away. Open your Bible. Turn to the Lord. Whether it be in worship, in personal prayer and devotions, in Bible study with a small group, turn away from that which that's going to consume you, where Satan will thrive, and turn to the one who overcomes all the evil, who makes wrong right. Look to the cross, where the best person in the world got an evil, heinous act as he was condemned to death, so that you and I today could be a child of the Most High. Fret not, trust in God, and commit to Him. Will you pray with me today? Father in heaven, it's so hard not to be consumed by the evil that is going on in the world around us. Your son knew evil, for evil was done to him. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through his victory over death, over sin, and over Satan. And I pray you would equip our hearts to be comforted with the gospel promises of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Fret not. Trust in the Lord, and let's commit to being a good neighbor today. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.